Number 9. Melissa Burr On August the 10th of 2021, a tragic accident occurred on the streets of London. Just outside the Victoria Railway Station, two buses collided into one another. According to updates on the case, the London Police and Transport Authorities were investigating the circumstances surrounding the crash, but no arrests have been made as of yet. It appeared to have most likely been an accident, even so it claimed the life of 32-year-old Melissa Burr, a resident of Raynham in East London. Two others were wounded in the collision, though their injuries were not life-threatening. The authorities were closely examining the situation, trying to determine whether there was any evidence of foul play or if there were any witnesses with information that could prove valuable in their investigation. In the meantime, Burr's family mourned her passing with little in the way of definitive answers or closure as to what prompted the event that took her life. Number 8. Adrian Richardson On August the 8th of 2021, a 44-year-old man named Adrian Richardson was shot and killed on a public transit bus in Portland, Oregon. The incident that preceded the shooting is thought to have been some sort of argument between Richardson and 47-year-old Wayne Thompson. After shooting Richardson, Thompson fled the scene, leaving his victim for dead on the bus. Richardson was transported to a Portland hospital, but he eventually succumbed to his critical injuries. An arrest warrant was issued for Thompson, who remained on the run for three weeks. On August the 28th, the police received a tip regarding his whereabouts from a citizen who had seen him on the street. He was arrested without further incident and charged with second-degree murder and felon in possession of a firearm. Number 7. The New York City Subway Murders On the night of February the 12th of 2021, a string of violence attacks and killings swept the New York City subway system. Two individuals, both thought to be homeless, were stabbed to death while sleeping on subway train cars. The murders were just two hours apart, and the police believe they were both perpetrated by the same person. A third killing was also attempted. A homeless man was asleep on a subway exit stairwell when he was suddenly awoken by a sharp pain in his back. He had apparently been stabbed, much like the first two victims, but fortunately, he was able to get help in time. He was transported to a hospital and kept in stable condition. No one was arrested in the immediate aftermath, but the NYPD had developed a theory that another homeless person, most likely someone with serious mental health issues, was responsible for the murders and the attack. Number 6. Jadranka Petrova 45-year-old Jadranka Petrova was killed in a vehicle collision involving a Toronto transit bus on August the 30th of 2011. The bus rear-ended a crane truck on the Don Valley Parkway, causing the truck to spin out of control and crash into a guardrail. Debris from the violent wreck also struck a third vehicle. The accident took the life of Petrova and injured an additional 13 people. Six of the passengers on the bus were taken to a nearby hospital with serious injuries and another four suffered minor wounds. An investigation was subsequently launched by the Toronto Transit Commission while marijuana was discovered among the bus driver's belongings later that same day. The driver, 51-year-old William Ainsworth, was charged with criminal negligence causing death and possession of an illegal substance. Number 5. Ilin Krantz 27-year-old Ilin Krantz of Gothenburg, Sweden, never made it home on September the 26th of 2010. After a night out on the town, her body was found not far from her house the following morning, beaten and abused. Kranz and her friend had taken the Gothenburg tramway back home after a night of clubbing in the city. Her friend's stop came first and Kranz was alone for the rest of the ride. As the train made its way closer to the young woman's stop, a man approached her where she sat. He would later be identified as 23-year-old Ephraim Johannes, an Ethiopian immigrant staying in Sweden on a residence permit. Kranz simply tried ignoring him but once her stop finally arrived, Johannes followed her off the tram. She was never seen alive again, and her body was discovered the next day in the Biscops Garden district of Gothenburg, where she lived. Luckily for the police, CCTV footage would provide abundant information on the case. They were quickly able to identify the victim's stalker, and Johannes was arrested just two days after the incident. A plain clothes officer spotted him at the very train station he'd first encountered Krantz. It was an open and shut case. Kranz's DNA was found on his clothes and his DNA was found on her dead body. He was sent to prison for 16 years and upon his release, 
he will be deported back to Ethiopia. Number 4. Zoe Hughes and Alasia Thurston At 12.20 a.m. on May the 18th of 2021, a party bus carried a rowdy group of young people through the streets of Oakland, California. The revelers were celebrating one of the passengers' 21st birthday. The night of fun and excitement quickly turned tragic when a car carrying at least two gunmen pulled up next to the bus. The still unidentified perpetrators opened fire, hitting multiple victims. Two of those were 16-year-old Zoe Hughes and 19-year-old Alasia Thurston, both of whom passed away. Five more people on the bus suffered non-fatal gunshot wounds. While the Oakland police have yet to make any arrests related to the attack, they do believe the shooting was targeted and they've offered a $40,000 reward to anyone with information that might lead to the gunman's capture. The abrupt deaths of Hughes and Thurston could have been avoided if the driver of the bus had adhered to the rules and regulations related to operating a party bus. The legal age to climb on board such a vehicle is 21, so neither Zoe nor Alasia met the minimum requirement to get on that bus in the first place. Number 3. Kathy Algorin The body of 41-year-old Kathy Algorin of San Antonio, Texas was found in her apartment on April the 7th of 2020. The mother of three had been stabbed to death inside her home. The police named her boyfriend Ramon Villa Gomez, age 31, as the prime suspect in her murder. With the authorities in pursuit, an armed Villa Gomez boarded a rapid transit bus in Dallas on April the 19th with plans to hijack it. He forced the driver to lead the pursuing officers on a chase. When transportation officials attempted to stop the bus, Villa Gomez fired multiple rounds at them, hitting one officer in the leg. The ensuing chase led police through multiple cities before the bus ultimately drove over a set of spike strips and was finally neutralized. Villa Gomez emerged from the bus with his firearm in hand and was subsequently shot by police officers. He later died at the hospital. With Villa Gomez dead, the authorities feared they might never officially solve Kathy Algorin's murder. Today's topic was requested by Stephanie Duarte, Trey Kearney, and Shannon Hamill. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Isaac Caldwell, Frankie Duckett, and Marcus Parks In recent years, the city of Baltimore, Maryland, has experienced a series of murders involving public transport workers. One such incident occurred in October when a Maryland Transit Administration bus driver named Marcus Parks was shot and killed after arguing with a man attempting to board the bus. The specific details surrounding their disagreement were not reported, but Parks' senseless death was only the beginning. Three months later, on January the 29th of 2021, a mobility van driver named Frankie Duckett was murdered by a man trying to get in the vehicle without a face mask. Current Maryland pandemic regulations stipulate that all passengers must wear a mask while using public transportation. Duckett was simply following the rules of his workplace and he was killed for it. The latest incident took place on August the 21st of 2021. Isaac Caldwell drove a paratransit bus for the city of Baltimore. He was waiting to board a bus himself in order to get to work when he was recognized as a public worker and shot dead. The police have yet to name a suspect in Caldwell's killing, but his death continues a disturbing pattern of violence against the city's public transit employees. Authorities believe it might be related to frustration with heightened safety regulations, such as mask mandates. In light of the latest occurrences, Baltimore's transportation workers are on high alert. Number 1. The Santa Clara Rail Yard Shooting Police were called to a Santa Clara Valley Rail Yard station in Northern California on the morning of May the 26th of 2021, after receiving multiple reports of an active shooter on the premises. By the time they arrived at the scene, 10 rail yard workers had been shot, nine of them to a fatal degree by a man who subsequently took his own life. The killer was identified as fellow Santa Clara public transit employee Samuel Cassidy. He'd entered the station at about 6.30 a.m. and proceeded to open fire on many of his co-workers. The victims were spread across two buildings in the rail yard. The police later found suspicious material in Cassidy's locker and the bomb squad was brought in to inspect it. The contents of his locker were revealed to be raw materials commonly used to construct explosive devices. At the same time as police had rushed to respond to the gunfire reports, firefighters had been called to a house fire 10 miles from the rail yard. 
It was later identified as Samuel Cassidy's residence. Authorities believe his plan was for the house fire to serve as a diversion while he went to the rail yard to carry out his attack. He didn't expect the police response to be so prompt and, in his panic, decided to end his life rather than face the consequences of his actions. Thanks for watching. Would you rather spend two hours in traffic every day on your commute to work or 10 minutes on a subway that uses passenger pushes to cram everyone in? Let us know in the comments section below.